This brief video is a video on the Kashmir earthquake. The earthquake occurred in 2005 and it is one of our case studies as part of the global hazards topic. So how does this link to the spec? As you can see, as part of the specification, you need to know a case study of a tectonic event that has been hazardous for people, including the causes, consequences and responses to the event. So if you have a question asking you about a tectonic event or tectonic hazard, the case study you need to use is this case study, the Kashmir earthquake. The map on the left shows that the earthquake occurred as a result of the Indian plate and the Eurasian plate coming together at a collision plate boundary. If you look at the map on the right, you can see where the epicenter of this earthquake was. The epicenter was located in Pakistan, northeast of the capital city Islamabad. It's worth also noting that this was not the only country affected by this earthquake. Earthquakes occur as a result of two plates trying to pass one another. In this case, it was at a collision plate boundary involving the Eurasian plate and the Indian plate. Friction between the two plates caused pressure to build up. Eventually, the two plates jumped past one another, causing the release of pressure as seismic waves. The Kashmir earthquake in 2004 reached 7.6 on the Richter scale and caused large amounts of damage, some of which you can see in the photographs on the slide. So what were the effects? There were many social effects as a result of this earthquake. 80,000 people died unfortunately and tens of thousands more were injured. 3 million people were made homeless as a result of buildings and homes collapsing and water pipes and electricity lines were also damaged. The fact that water pipes were damaged meant that people had a lack of access to fresh water which also meant that disease spread in many regions across Pakistan. There were environmental impacts as well. Landslides had a huge impact and they blocked roads and da damaged buildings and destroyed infrastructure. Another social effect was the fact that schools were destroyed. There were numerous responses to this earthquake. Pakistan heavily relied on international aid so that equipment such as helicopters and rescue dogs could be brought in. Despite this though, help didn't reach certain areas for days or weeks. In particular, these were the rural areas where landslides perhaps blocked roads, meaning that it was difficult to provide people with emergency aid. Tents, blankets and medical supplies were distributed. However, in certain areas, this took a long time to reach. 40,000 people from one de destroyed town were relocated, which means they were moved to a new place, a new town that had been built and government money was given to rebuild their homes. However, despite this, some people had to use this money to uh, buy food instead of rebuilding their home, which meant that some people were still homeless many years on. Three years on, people were still living therefore in temporary tents, and again, aid was given to rebuild schools, but some still were not rebuilt 10 years after the event. So what would an exam style question look like? What I've provided you states to evaluate the responses to a tectonic hazard event that you have studied. This question is worth six marks and therefore you would need two peed paragraphs. I suggest you frame it in the structure that you can see on the right hand side of this slide. One paragraph on a response and how effective you believed it was and then a second paragraph on a different response and again how effective did you do you believe that response was. So the command word in this question is to evaluate. If you have evaluate as a command word, then you need to try and pick up AO2 marks in order to get top level answers. So things that you might want to consider, you might consider how effective the responses were in the short term. Were they effective in the long term also? Who was helped or who was least helped perhaps as a result of this earthquake? Was the level of development of Pakistan a factor in their ability to respond? You may wish to pause this video now and attempt this question before we go through an exam, um, a model answer together on the next slide. So 
So on the screen now you can see a model answer I have produced. The point I have gone for is that one response to the Kashmir earthquake was the government providing people with aid money. Evidence I have found, I have in included the fact that 3 million people were made homeless as a result of the build it homes collapsing and therefore this aid money was provided so that these homes could be rebuilt. To explain this, I've stated that this was done to enhance people's quality of life and try and reduce the number of people, um, as we know, were living in temporary co accommodation following this earthquake. In terms of my development, this is where I've included a lot of these AO2 marks, so the evaluation aspect of this question. It states that, however, this response was ineffective in the short and long term because many people had to use the aid money to purchase food for their families rather than rebuilding their home. This meant that after three years, thousands of people were still living in temporary tents. Please note that I've mentioned the short and long term in this answer, and I've also developed my answer by using an extra piece of evidence stating that after three years, there were still thousands of people still living in temporary tents. You may want to now amend your answer accordingly, but remember for this question, you need to have two paragraphs not just the one like I have produced on the screen.